Hey guys, another question here about music career. So Dirk is here with me. Hello. And he's gonna, uh, so next question. Yes, Let's so, see. so this one is from Leah Gaia. And the question is, how do you manage the stress of the stage and to be able to play all the songs and not forget anything? All right. Great question. Yeah, great question. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I think let's try to organize things here. So you practice. First, I believe they have to practice, and then we, when we're talking about practicing, is not playing. So have practice, which is like the movements, the skills, and be prepared. Then playing, when you have the flowing feeling of you're doing music, you practice first, and then you you have the um, the skills to play that specific song, a specific part. Then you just uh, play the music, right? Or improvise and have this great feeling of doing music without criticizing yourself. So those two moments, which is practicing, is when you have to be criticizing yourself all the time. Oops, a mistake, stop, fix. Oops, yeah. a mistake, stop, yeah. fix. Play slowly. You know, like all those mm -hmm. things, that's practicing. Playing is like, don't criticize yourself anymore. Just like, go and play or just, you know, fret and Yes. You put a backing track and have fun mm -hmm. and enjoy music. And hopefully the practicing was really good. So you start doing amazing things. Right. Right. And right. combining the, your skills and your musicality, your right. feeling. Right? right. Exactly. Okay. That's two things. But then you have the performance, which is when you have to do that, this great feeling that you have in your bedroom. <laughs> you have to do it live in front of people. Right. right. And then is, an, is another skill set that you have to develop. You have to practice. And the only way to practice is to go out and play, <laughs> basically. Because, uh, of course, you can practice this at home. Like you can stand up, the guitar players or drummer, you can just close your eyes, imagine right. you know, you're playing a big arena, of course. But when you're there, it's different. It's right? different, yeah. Um, <laughs> it's different every night too, right? And it's every night too because yeah. the stages are different, the sound yeah. is different. Of course, with uh, all the, the technicians, they do their best to mm -hmm. create the same environment for us so we feel comfortable all the time. Right. With the in ears monitors, all that, it's, like, mm -hmm. it's a great help. If you compare to 20 years ago, yeah. that was like every show was a different thing. But yeah. now it's, you have your own world there, right? So it's right. a bit, uh, right. bit uh, better. Yeah. than before but then the performance is finding this flow that you can find in when you are uh, with yourself there in your bedroom mm -hmm. or playing in your rehearsal room finding the same flow uh, without judging yourself again mm -hmm. yeah. but in front of people and interacting with people yes not only interacting with the audience but also interacting with the technicians, mm -hmm. with the problems that's gonna happen yeah. around you, right? Yeah. And then with your bandmates, yeah. right? Because you know you're not gonna be playing like, yeah. you know, like in a, in a in a mm -hmm. in a shell, right? Yeah. Yeah. So exactly. you're gonna interact with the other uh, musicians, with your bandmates. You might interact with the technicians, so like, oh, sounds good, and you're still playing the yeah. thing, or, or I or have like, a problem, yeah. and yeah. then making faces, and then or maybe <laughs> the sounds, and then yeah. you you have to keep the flow of in, the, mm -hmm. the, the joy of playing yeah. and talking to the technician right. and or sending messages uh, to the bandmate somehow yeah. Yeah. and of course interacting with the with the audience yeah. and maybe interacting with the photographers as well mm -hmm. sometimes you know mm -hmm. uh, um, interacting with the I don't know the security guy that is, you know, <laughs> <laughs> wants a pick, guitar pick or something, <laughs> and then you you're playing like the solo, and also like yeah yeah later you know right. so, you know <laughs> that happens all the time. That's funny. So, but that's only it's, it's possible only if you practice right a lot. So right? the first step is really yeah have to key. practice mm -hmm. because you're so uh, confident that you know how to play that song. Mm -hmm. And then you've been through the process of getting the flow mm -hmm. and be uh, confident of the way you feel the, the music or the solo or whatever. And then you're ready to go on stage and yeah. then you can take those other elements around you and make it things even better. And then it's going to be the, the best thing because you have, uh, you're playing your songs, you have the, the flow, you feel good, mm -hmm. and you're interacting with people, mm -hmm. and everybody yeah. can feel that, and it's a unique moment. 
right. in your life yeah. and in the life of everybody. That, that's why the concerts are such a unique mm -hmm. moment. Yeah, very true, very true. I think that sums it up great. And, and it brings me to uh, something I would like to add too is, um, so of course practicing, they say practice makes perfect, but I, I disagree kind of with that statement because even the best guy, even the best musician, the best anything is gonna have a day where maybe his yeah, best yeah. is like 80%, you know? Mm -hmm. On a good day, like if you're like, you know, you slept well, the sound on the stage is good, you're feeling good, you play 100% perfect, you know, great. On a not so good day, maybe you didn't, sometimes we travel and we sleep like three hours, two hours, you know? Sometimes the, there's some messed up stuff on the stage that's distracting and stuff, so maybe then you're at 80%. So it's not bad, like it's still gonna be a good show, but you know you can do better. And that for me, like uh, when I was, you know, growing up and becoming a musician and starting to play live, that was the biggest problem because then, you know, it would get in my head and I oh, would yeah. be like, oh man, like I made a mistake. Oh no, some people are going to hear. And then you start making oh, yeah. mistakes yes. and then you walk off the stage and you feel like, oh my God, I did a terrible job. And then you feel bad about yourself. Mm -hmm. So one of the things I've learned over time is that. Let it go. Let it go. Yeah, exactly. It's very difficult, yeah. but also, yeah, the first mistake of the when you start or something happens on <laughs> yeah. the first song, the first chord that the guitar doesn't work or something. Right. Like yeah, that. yeah. And that's like, oh, but they ha let it go because yeah, you still have the whole concert to, to yes. show and to enjoy and to yeah. show that you you're able to play. Mm -hmm. but yeah, yeah, that's very hard, very difficult mm -hmm. because one mistake and then if you really take it, you're gonna have several mistakes and the right. mood is going to be bad and the whole thing is going to be right and then uh, people will feel it because you know the mood on stage yeah. is very important for yes for the yes. show right yes. so yes. for me that's always what i put first and i know you do too you know it's put down a good show people have fun they watch us they don't they don't want to be worried about like some issue with my drums or whatever yeah, you know? yeah, that's yeah, not exactly. their concern yeah. they just want to see a good show yeah and then if something happens that you know let's say like you're gonna do like a band and they're like, oops, it was a wrong note. Or, and uh, the best is you have to laugh, yeah, yeah. you know, but you only laugh and because you know that you were able to do it. Yes. You know, because you put yourself in that stage to play those songs uh, because you know that you're able to do it. And mm -hmm. it might happen, some, some mistakes might happen, yeah. but you know you're able mm -hmm. to do that. So yeah. that's important. That's why you practice, yeah. you have this confidence, uh, at home that you are able to play that and that's why you're going exactly yeah. to play that's why you're there on stage playing because you prepared yourself yeah. and then you have this feeling that i'm ready to do it and i know i know all the songs but if mm -hmm. something happens it's fine because yeah. i did my best and exactly. i know i'm that's, that's confidence that's the key for me doing your best i always say like give a hundred percent and then you can be proud of yourself exactly. even if maybe yeah. you know Something is always going to yeah, happen. Something's going to yeah. happen. And then also about uh, being nervous or not, because if you're nervous, it, it might destroy this. Yes. The, uh, this feeling confident, mm -hmm. and also this like this thing that you have to be feeling excited and mm -hmm. not nervous. Yeah. Which is difficult to to ship that, but the feeling is kind of the same. Right. So just like, yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited. Just <laughs> yeah, cool. And start jumping and it's like excited yeah. to get this energy uh, in a positive way. Yeah. And not like, oh, this is I'm nervous and start shaking. And then yeah. and then it's yeah. then it's, it's not going to go well from there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's the problem. So yeah. if you practice, if you know that you're ready to play the songs, you're prepared, you know that if you look to the audience, most of the people are not going to be able. That's what I think. Yeah. to play mm -hmm. the same thing yeah, right yeah. because yeah. you know i i'm the one that knows the song exactly right maybe few guys yeah but and maybe if there's like of course there's some that's why sometimes it's difficult to play a guitar clinic yeah there's, there's like then only there's like 20 people but yeah, the yeah. 20 people really they know, all play guitar they all play and they're great <laughs> players then it's sometimes yeah. it's harder to right. than playing in a in a fifty thousand people festival you know yes uh, yeah. but then if you have this just this feeling that okay, I'm I'm ready to do it. I know how to do it. I'm gonna probably I'm the one, the only one here that yes. is able to do this yeah, yeah. to play those yeah. songs on stage. Yeah. So I'm gonna do it. Yeah. So you 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 feel this. Uh, it's not anxiety. You just feel like the the, the excitement, excitement, right? right. And then right. another thing is also um, respect. So sometimes you're nervous because you respect. It's mm -hmm. like you're gonna play in a small uh, place and your family's there. 
Right. And then you right. get, it's funny, yeah. you can play in a huge festival that you, in a, in a, <laughs> not a country that you don't know anybody, that's all good. And then suddenly you play in your city, yeah. like right. a small venue, it's like, oh, I'm nervous because <laughs> this is because you respect, mm -hmm. you might respect that, that theater yeah. because you grew up going there exactly. or because you, you, you know, your father is there watching you or something, then you respect mm -hmm. and it's a, it's a very good feeling. So just take it, you yeah. know, you're nervous yeah. because you respect the, yeah. the stage, you respect the people you're playing with yeah. and then, mm -hmm. and you just take it and just do your job. Very nice. Cool. Very nice. That's a great answer, I think. All right. So send more questions because you're going to do more videos like this to help your music career. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.